Welcome to the XTech Solutions YouTube channel. Today we're going to discuss how to set up a paid Google Apps account on Outlook. Basically, how to um, if you have a um, a paid account with Google, you know, say your email address is um, your your name uh, name at company uh, what, um, company a dot com. You know you ha you have your emails hosted on Google, but that's with a paid account. Uh, you can set that your email out up on Outlook such that you in addition to getting your emails synced up you you got your contacts and calendars synced up as well you basically you take up um, take uh, advantage of uh, the additional features that you get with the, the paid Google Apps account so let me discuss um, I'm going to discuss we're going to jump into our virtual machine right here and um, basically the the paid Google Apps account is um, it's account cost about the basic plan costs about five dollars per user I'm going to look it up I'm going to do Google search right here and we're going to check the pricing from the pricing uh, section right here. And yeah, basic plan five dollars per user. There's a ten dollars. This is more business. Um, this is the known as the business plan. Ten dollars per user. This gives you more storage for Google Drive or so. And this is the the basic account. You could basically you could use this five dollar account for you know if you have a small business or so and you know you want your your your, your domain uh to be um you know with google apps you know at least for the emails portion so we're going to get started right now we have um an email address youtube at xtechsolutions.com and we want to set that up on outlook so the way we do that is um we have to we have to download and install the google apps sync program so let's let's do a google search here basically we'll go google search google apps sync and right over here here is Google Apps sync for Microsoft Outlook this works for any version of Outlook from 2003 2016 um, um, I mean I, I, I've never tried 2003 um, before but I wouldn't I, I wouldn't trust it very much since just because it's a really old version of Outlook but um, from Outlook 2007 onwards um, a lot of people will be using Outlook 2003 13, 2016. Uh, some people still be using Outlook 2007. Outlook 2010 is still um, used by a lot of people, and in, um, it's the the one we're gonna use in our video right here. So basically, we're gonna download the um, Google App Sync. We're gonna leave this uh, URL on our description for this page, so you can revisit it at a later time if you, in case you need the link. But um, in case the link changes in the future, just Google search Google App Sync. That's the program that you install on your computer that syncs, that basically links up with your paid account and it's going to configure Outlook to connect to it and uh, set up your your email account automatically. It's a really straightforward process. We have the, the download right now. We're going to run the, the program. <coughs> Hit yes on this. I'm going to remove it from this list right here clear up our downloads list and just let it do its thing it's, it's almost like installing Google Chrome where you know you uh, you run the basic install and then it, and then it downloads install uh, the full installer so it's a similar process here for the Google App Sync program so we're gonna let it do its thing and in a few seconds it'll have the um, the program will be ready okay there we go installation complete we can close out of this. Now the email address we're going to use is our company email address that we set up for this video, YouTube at xtechsolutions.com. We're going to continue right here. Type in your, 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 your Google Apps email address. Remember me, make sure that's checked and click continue. We're now launching, a, basically it was saying we're now launching a preferred web browser. But what, what this means is that a lot of times if you haven't set this up, your email account to use a Google app sync, it's gonna, you're gonna need to log into your, your, um, your Gmail account and give it permissions for the Google app sync program to access your email account. So that, that's basically, that's the warning it's giving you. So, you know, um, basically you go back to that web page and you got to sign in. It's, it already has our, our email address um, right here. So basically, we need to s sign in to the email address. And yep, this is the um, this is basically the what's asking you. Uh, G Suite Sync for Microsoft Outlook. We like to basically want to access all these view and manage your email. 
um, files in Google Drive, contacts, calendars. You just allow it for, uh, for just uh, uh, scroll down and allow this, and you won't be prompted for it again. Authorization has been granted successfully. Please switch to application. We can sign out right here. Close out of this and create. Okay, so now we're at the um, <coughs> the pop-up window for setting up a Google Apps for Microsoft Outlook. I just like to create the use the basic uh, settings. I you could do show advanced settings right here. Import data from an existing profile. We're not going to do that. There's no need because uh, this is. Um, a new Outlook profile so we're setting. Uh, turn auto archive off. This is uh, this is good. You can leave this checked. We don't need auto archiving right now. So we just go to create uh, select create a profile. Google Apps Sync setup is complete. Good. Um, after start Microsoft Outlook, get any help anytime. Click on Google Apps and choosing help online. So we're going to start Microsoft Outlook. I'll click on this link over here. and this will be the profile that it creates. You may or may not see the screen, choose a profile. This ju it just so happens that it show me a profile that's created. This is the, the name of the profile. Sometimes, a lot of times you're setting up and it, it jumps right into Outlook. It automatically creates the, the profile for you. The profile form um, name is basically, it's your, your email address and at the end it appends um, a, a Google Apps wording. So you hit OK. And it's yeah, it, this basically links your um, your Outlook with your uh, your paid Google Apps account. It's already synced everything. Synchronization status is this is all complete. You can close out of this. This it, you occasionally see this window you, you window pop up from time to time, especially when you're closing no uh, opening Outlook. Excuse me, when you're opening Outlook, it'll sync sync all your email, which it should do. So we had some emails right here, a test email. Basically, and um, some emails here. There was um, a contact that we created. User one. There's a test user. The beauty of this is this is essentially it's like a Microsoft Exchange environment where, in addition to your emails, um, you also get to sync your contacts and your calendars as well with you know between your Outlook and um, your account on the cloud. So, for instance. If we want to create a new another contact, we you know we go to the contacts over here in Microsoft Outlook. We do new contact and say we want to create another user, user two now. And just to show how this um, you know the beauty of this, if we want to we want to sign in to our Google account. So we go to Gmail, gmail.com. Go to the YouTube channel. This is our account. Go log in right here. We're going to sign in. And this is our emails. Now, if you want to click on our contacts and calendars, it's all right here. Calendars here, contacts here. I just want to go to contacts to show you the way this syncs up. So I clicked on Google Contacts. You see this user one. If we go over here and we add a new contact. Actually, I had it. Yeah, I had it on an existing window, so I'm just gonna jump back into this window. User two. Let's just create a business phone number. Um, one 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 nine nine zero zero zero. And right here, just save this. Okay, which area code are you in now? One, one, one. Hit OK for this, just disregard. And hit save. We have a new, yep, there we go. We have a new contact, and right on this web page, it automatically created this um, contact. So, say you want, we were on. You know, we we're away from our computer, and you know, you want to check your um, your Gmail account from another computer. You can log into your Gmail, and then say we wanted to edit an email right here, which we don't have. We we do not have an email here. Create a test at someone.com. We save this. We go back, and as a as email address, and we go to switch to Outlook now.
give it a bit and then it will sync up basically eventually it will populate with that email address that's that's the beauty of this um the syncing user one right here It's gonna, it may take a bit, but if we say, for instance, we want to delete a user, user one here, delete contact, this should um, delete pretty soon. You may, oh, we may have to do a synchronization. So we may have to open up the app here. If we want to say we want to sync it right away, View sync status, resync, resync this, overwrite. Resyncing will replace your local data with data from Google service. It should be done only to repair your local data. You can do that, delete and resync all local data. Just overwrite, you can do overwrite resyncing. And there we go. Basically, the way this works, and we discovered this recently, is that this Google app sync it's under the um, the assumption that you're predominantly going to use your Outlook program, so that will serve more as a master versus the the one that the Google, um, the Gmail on the uh, the web website that on, on the cloud that was more like a secondary where it takes it takes the priority data from what you put over here. So for instance, say we want to delete this user two, this should delete pretty much. There we go, delete right away. So it's under the impression this Google Apps sync program is more for Outlook and it trusts the, the data you put on Outlook more than the, the any data you put on the uh, the, um, the Google your, your Gmail account on when you sign in from the cloud so there you have it you you know same thing with the con uh, the calendar events it's um, you know you, you create a calendar event it'll be synced up to your Gmail in the cloud, so that, that's that's the beauty. It, it's essential, uh, in essence, like a Microsoft Exchange environment that you have right here with this Google Apps um, Sync program. So there you have it. That's the um, that's our video. Please tune into our next video, which shows we're going to show you how to, on our next video we're going to show you how to set up the same thing, the Google Apps uh, um, uh, account but on an iPhone. So that way, you know, you you'll have your emails on your your uh, your Gmail. Uh, account on your iPhone as well. In addition, you'll have your 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 contacts and calendar synced up as well. So you know that you can you can sync that up with your, your Outlook, your phone, and also on the Gmail. So that'll be on our next video. Please tune in. Thank you.